are, and that is actually another reason why we are wearing. Uh, Thir Thirty-four sunglasses. million views on, on four hundred videos. How Thirty many? Thirty-four million. <laughs> That's more than the population of Canada. Oh, that Are is that, out there? that is the population of Canada, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so today's show is a bit different. Uh, obviously, I'm sitting here with my lovely wife, Jim, uh, and of myself, of course, DJ Medic, uh, creators of RC Adventures. Something that has been a lot of fun for us, and we've had a lot of... Uh, a lot of viewers write in, and a lot of questions have been uh, posted over the years. Agreed, yes. Uh, three and a half years we've been doing this. Can you imagine? Three and a half years. It's crazy that I'm still 27. That's awesome. <laughs> that's right. And I'm, I'm also... Trying to appeal to all the markets out yes, there. Yes, that's right. So... Yes. So with, Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. Here, I'll Actually, clink a glass to that. that is fantastic. Good job. Thank you. This is water. Two glasses <coughs> smooth of water. Oh, so little... uh, here we are with, uh, she's uh, got an iPad full of questions off of the RC Spark Studio website forum, uh, the community over there at rcsparks.com. And I have been writing down, I, I should have another iP iPad, iPod, iPad. iPad. I yes. should get an iPad 3. I would like to have two of them. I don't know if it'll happen because we spend so much time here in the studio. I never get outside. That's true. That's why we wear sunglasses. <clears throat> three, uh, one, two, three, four pages of questions. And I think you had four forum pages. Well, but these are different size pages. These are really long pages. So that's... They're long pages. Yeah. So we're going to have to speak quickly so we don't have... An hour and a half, even though we'd love to hang out with you for an hour and a half, that would be a huge video file to upload. <laughs> that huge. Is That's awesome. Right now, this is in 720p uh, anyway, because at 1080p, this, this file would have been ridiculously and huge. And no one needs to be in 1080p. I don't need to be in 1080p when I have studio lights on me anyway. Should we show them? Well, I'll show them the yeah, lights okay. in a little while, because there's okay. questions that we need to get to. Let's that... get to a few questions and then show them the studio. You want to go first? Do you want me to go first? I think you should go first because I actually have so many questions I kind of have to uh, okay. read through them first. Uh, I'll tell you, and I'll ask you the first question that a viewer said, uh, Jem, where is the, oh, gosh. the coolest place you have ever RC'd? Radio controlled, for those who don't know. The coolest place that I've actually been in RC, like actually driving? The cool, Well, anywhere. Anywhere. Where where have you and I gone that anywhere that you think is the coolest? I'm actually glad you asked this question. I actually, uh, my favorite scenery scene, uh, place is the Sulphur Mountain. Ah. And it has nothing to do with what happened at Sulphur Mountain RC the first Adventures, time. Adventures, Sulphur Mountain. You're talking about when you broke my servo. No, no, but, uh, okay, that aside, that hap it happened. It happened. Um, But the scenery itself was quite fantastic. It, it, was, it was gorgeous. It was very mossy and very eerie. Where was it? It was actually in Banff. And for those folks that um, are not familiar with Alberta. Banff, Alberta, Canada. Banff, Alberta, Canada. And it's right actually where the gondolas uh, are. So uh, we were actually in a really cool place. Yeah. No off the beaten track. No bugs. The time of the year I think we mm. went down there was at the end of October. The beginning of November, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm actually showing it up right on the That's screen awesome. right now. This is the bonus. I feel like you I'm can Vanna. <laughs> you are Vanna. Uh, Vanna Pink, I suppose. Hey, showing <gasps> off the nice uh, That's a green. a fantastic name. Showing off for a porno. Uh, showing off the green moss. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, Next. Okay, you got one for me? What do I you got? totally do. Actually, I like this one, and I actually love hearing the story. It's always my favorite one. Here we go. What you? What got you into the RC hobby, and, and what makes you uh, an RC lover? I like to hear this is by a wee man WTF. Okay, wee man WTF on the RC Sparks forum yeah. asked me what got me started in RC. Uh, when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My best friend uh, Ian and I uh, had RC cars, but they were toy grade uh, entry level vehicles. Great for six, eight, ten, you know, twelve year olds, that kind of thing. Perfect. And uh, that's where it kind of all started. And then over the years, I kind of went off and did my my uh, career mm -hmm. uh, in technical stuff. Never had a lot of RCs growing up, but uh, just only three and a half years ago, four years ago, mm -hmm. when I got the okay. MGT from PM Hobbycraft. So, what makes you an RC lover? Oh, everything, because I get to go out and uh, meet with families and friends and mm -hmm. strangers have I've never met time. before. You know, get out there and to have a good time and obviously to do the show. This this is an addiction problem that I have, you see. I actually vouch for that, folks. This is an RC addiction. Everybody who knows the show knows that I'm, a, I'm an addict, you know, especially to uploading YouTube videos. Okay, you ready for this? 
Are you sure? I've got a ton more questions. Well, you know, go ahead. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. How did you and Jem meet? <laughs> we're going to tell them the truth? Seriously, you did not prep me on this question. How are we, go how are we going to meet? So what story are we telling them? The honest one. Where did we meet? Actually, we actually have to thank a gentleman named Neil Clark Warren. Sorry, I apologize okay, for that. Okay, no, name dropping now, really? I like it. We met on eHarmony. We met it was on that e simple. It was a fantastic time. You know? And it was an Easter weekend, and it was a good time. How many years uh, have we been dating slash now engaged? I honestly wish that I had I could count a different language, but it's five years. Five years as five of years uh, been dating and April a, what? Uh, five years as of April 4th. April 4th. And uh, we got engaged in September of 2011. Now everyone's going to ask the date. We don't have a date yet, but we'll keep you informed when we'll we do. We'll keep you informed. Go ahead. What do you got? I actually love some of these questions. Some really specific ones, too, from uh, E. Corey. Uh, do you yeah, get I know no E. Corey. What's up, dude? Go ahead. <laughs> I love this question. Do you get noticed while at the store as the DJ medic guy or anything? And uh, can we see you race your super fast Lucy 5T or your five one fifth short course nitro truck and your new Ford F one fifty? That's a big order, E. Corey. Okay, no, the F Ford, the, the Ford F one fifty that I have, the twenty twelve. Uh, the one uh, one scale. The the one to one scale, the big truck I just got with the twin turbo in there would kick the low C five T's ass. I know, but the low C five T is so much fun. I'd like to run country. over the low C five T with that truck. <clears throat> Even though I love the low C5 T, one of my favorite trucks of all time. Can we put that on the screen? Uh, we cannot put that on the screen, but I'm doing some onboard footage of the low C right now because I'm awesome. Awesome. <laughs> May I ask you another question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is just a, hopefully a quick question. Now, Medic, I was wondering if you can do an update on your race, and that's from Walsh on the uh, RC Sparks. My race? Would you like to... No, uh, eh, eh, eh. I said I wouldn't do this as, as a technical video, and if I did the race, uh, showed it to you right now, this would turn into some sort of RC technical the show. The bench is over there, guys. Uh, and the, the bench is over there. We moved the bench for the show, so don't it's worry, nice. I will do a race update. Okay, can uh, I... Uh, is it okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I just have such great questions here. Um, from Scott. I actually know Scott. Hello, Scott. Hi, Calgary. Scott. Yes. Congrats. Okay, sorry. Blah, blah. Congrats, Congrats on this huge Congrats. milestone, Medic. Congrats, I yeah. am happy to have been around from pretty much the beginning. It has been a huge honor to be included and help out with what I can for your endeavors. Hopefully I can be around to help you out with the next 400 as well. Holy cow, folks. That is a lot of work. Another 400 videos, eh? Hey? Not really a question, but more of a comment. Thanks, Scott, for that. That's great. Yeah, Scott, thanks. There's a lot of great video oh, uh, producers out great there. Great question. You asked me one. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good video producers yeah, out there, there that do RC videos. And I got to say, uh, I've seen all types of quality. And uh, every single one of those hobby videos that I've seen, no matter what the quality, is all awesome. And, and that's why we have RC Sparks. Uh, and, and encourage you guys to get out there on the internet and try to uh, share your works. It, it's really, I consider myself to be an artist after all this time uh, doing these RC videos, the different shots that mm -hmm. we do. Yeah, we've, we've evolved over time. Yeah, we've certainly evolved over yeah. time, it, both in our relationship and in how we... Huge. It's okay. been great. So I got to ask you a question now because everybody wants to know. Everybody's oh been asking. Uh, the big question, we need a magic answer here. I don't oh know gosh. if we have one. 42. I don't think it's 42. It might be. How does a guy out there get his girlfriend or wife involved in the hobby? They've tried. They've tried. Seriously, you're can't. asking me this question? This is huge. Okay, so maybe what we should do is I'll actually... Why don't you tell them in a synopsis okay. uh, how I got you into the hobby? Because obviously I was doing the hobby for at least a year, a year and a half doing the films yeah. before you even got into the filming picture with me. I think it's kind of a, a multi-part multi answer, if I may. So, obviously, Mr. Medic here started in RCs. Oh, you know, calls me up one day and says, I want to buy an RC. I said, great, have fun with that. Go buy your RC. And then I think it was as we kind of got along this particular journey, he's like, oh, I love this thing. I'm like, then, then you know what? Find out, a way to, find out a way to do it. And ultimately, my, my overall motivation is just to make sure that you're happy. So... Yeah. How did I get you into it though specifically? So because I saw your passion inside of it, I thought, okay, you know what, this is this is great. And I remember one day, I uh, came home from I think work or something like that, and I've got a surprise for you. I come home, I said, okay, well, great, this is awesome. Um, and I sit down, and I'm not one for a big on surprises, but you know I can appreciate a good solid surprise. Sit down on the couch, and 
Close your eyes and open it, you know, hold out your hands. So I was giving you a surprise. I gotta tell you, when a man tells you to close your eyes and hold out your hands, you know, I'm really <laughs> about that, but you know what that I thought? That is what she said. <laughs> but I thought, you know what, what can he possibly do? So I close, I do the juice, just as he asks, and open up my eyes, and there's, a, well, before I open my eyes, there's this massive box, and it was a good, good, hefty, you know, weight to it, and I open it up, and I'm like, oh, I got her an Axial SCX10. We've seen other videos like this out there. I think Leprechaun uh, 79 is a, is a channel. Him and his girlfriend yeah. have been doing it. Uh, a couple other folks out there have been getting their gals and wives into it, uh, you know, and and by going out there and kind of identifying the fact that mm -hmm. that you can spend time together. That's how we. That's a huge thing for me. And actually, can you just remind me when you got me my truck? What truck did you have at the same time? Was it the white Axial? Oh, uh, I think it was actually. That was uh, the video I can put up right now. Actually, can you grab Pinky here? I'll take this. Oh gosh, it might be a little wet. Pinky, <laughs> Pinky might be a little wet because I just washed it off. Thank you. I actually heard that. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. So these are the two trucks that you've seen uh, in the past. The one in the video back there, Axial's in love. I know it's because the water uh, and is I in the I tires. And I believe I did the engagement video with this one, didn't I? You also did. She asked me to marry her with the engagement video. This one right here. That was awesome. That was awesome. I like that. So uh, basically what Mr. Medic had done to get me into the hobby itself was actually make it interesting for me. And uh, I actually helped him do a lot of the filming uh, prior to me getting my truck. But once he got me my truck, I thought, okay, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> but it's actually been a really big adventure trying to uh, go and drive with him and and to have a really good time with him. We get to we, we get we get out. So how many times have we been out together? Yeah. Really? Estimate it. Because uh, uh, because the girls are watching right now. Tell them the truth. We go out most. I, I would say out of a, out of a given year in in most weekends we probably do about forty weekends that we go out and we actually. That's spend a great time. estimate. Yeah, that's yeah. a great estimate. Uh, and and if nothing else, I get to do my thing with him in the morning, and we go mm -hmm. to go out and do filming, and then I get to go shopping afterwards because it's a really easy sell. Lots of times she's booting me out to go and practice. Hey, that's a bonus for yeah. me, you know. And then we get to go out together. And, and then my favorite part is I get new shoes to go filming with. Okay, moving on okay. and cut. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm just trying to make it motivating for our ladies. Okay, do you know that today? Congratulations, we have had our fourth video cross 1 million what? views at the time of this filming and it's the one that you were in it's the one with you holding up pinky explaining uh, what you have <laughs> that was the one yeah pretty. well cheers to us on that yeah, one cheers nice. to you Good job for million. 1 million views today our Bottoms fourth up. one and i will say on the, the sidebar delicious. that we actually have 60 60 videos that have been seen more than a hundred thousand times that's solid we have more than 60 videos seen 100,000 times. Thank you very times. much, folks. You guys, awesome. that's amazing. I can't believe you've been sharing in our fun that way. Awesome. I'm, thank you. Our weekends are awesome, and they are nothing without you. How many days a week do I work? Uh, uh, oh, I guess the question, a big question is, is how do I make my money? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a full-time YouTube partner. Mm -hmm. I have been for years. Yeah, and actually, I, I, it's, it's nice because you love what you do. I love yeah. what I do, so at the end of the day... Yeah. And we love hanging out with each other, so it's it's honest, good, good-hearted fun. Everybody can find out about the partner program about YouTube. I think it's down there at the yeah. bottom of YouTube where <laughs> you can find out about uh, partner stuff. Uh, anybody can monetize their videos. You know that if you're accepted yeah. and. Uh, uh, you know, make whatever you want. And a lot of people don't like to to put ads on their videos or to do that kind of thing. But that stuff that's out there that helps with partners and people like you and I that want to have fun and just kind of show off our adventures mm -hmm. to the world. You know, you do, who who doesn't mind making an extra fifty or sixty bucks for a, a, a towards it's a great another RC? factor for sure. Just yeah. getting out, being yourself, and yeah. having fun, and and making videos is is what I've been about, and mm -hmm. and making RC sparks. Life is about having fun, and this is what it really uh, echoes. Your channel really echoes. Uh, and out. and that's the thing. I don't really do RC reviews. Like, there's mm -hmm. tons of awesome and amazing. Uh, RC review channels out there, but uh, I actually try to showcase the fun of the projects that I do. It doesn't matter what product it is, as long as you and I are out mm -hmm. having fun and showing the fun you can have with it, of course you have to fix it. Yeah. It's, it's RC. And I can add to that as well. Like it's not just about the one component of it. It's the whole thing. You get to go out and have fun. You get to fix it and kind of meddle with it. It's a full end to end. It's awesome. Who it's, takes it's care of your trucks? 
I would love to say it was me, guys, but it's totally him. No. If uh, if we didn't have this partnership, he knows what I'm good at, and I know what he's good at, yeah. and I have no desire to do any of the mechanics. I think it's yeah, great. Yeah, but that's a bonus for us, though. It's All fantastic. the guys that are out there, you know, uh, and Help I don't want to... ladies track. You know, or a partner or whatever, yep. right? There's lots of chicks out there that love uh, working on their rigs, Great, I love it. So you're out here representing all the... You're like Lady RC. I am Lady RC. I should get a fascinator. You know, you should get a little RC fascinator. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, I read you your next question and I go Question say, away. Let's it's, go. Um, it's from a person named Crawler. Yeah, I know Crawler. What's up in New York? Crawler, how are you? It's awesome. Thank you very much, R Crawler. RC Sparks. Go ahead. Um, well, I always wondered, why did you make this amazing community? Mm. It, this is actually a few few part question, so if I can read okay, them all. Okay, so off. one at a time, yeah. please. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, I always wonder why did you make this amazing community? Uh, RC Sparks as a whole, or or the forum? I guess he means both. Maybe. Community in general, yeah. I wanted to make a. Uh, I, I noticed that when I started off, off making my videos uh, back in the day, and it was before the YouTube anything yeah. like any kind of bonuses, just doing what I was doing, kind of pioneering uh, build video series on YouTube, and and that was the, to me a Toyota Tundra back in the yeah. day. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to, after all the time of going out to these communities and sharing my videos, I didn't want to be like spamming uh, uh, other forums and whatnot, and I wanted to make sure to be respectful to others. So mm -hmm. I figured, why not build a, a centralized place where people can come together, share their photography, share their videography, yes. and you know, it's a friendly place to be. That's it that's totally that's is. why why I built it. Go ahead. The Mepic shirt is uh, from Medic and Epic uh, that was pushed together because guys, of the Tundra videos. that's awesome. We actually use it in our videos. house all the time. Uh, lots of folks out there, they have a good time with it it's too, and, and we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Actually comes from one of my uh, forum members, Ace of Axe, had put mm -hmm. it together as it's a great. Medic Mepic kind of thing. So that was, uh, you know, thanks a lot for the compliment. Uh, let's see here, what do we got? There's so many, you guys. It's fantastic. It's awesome. Thank you again. Uh, let me shout out to uh, RC Bits, uh, Martin, over in the UK. He actually became mm. a YouTube partner today, uh, and uh, that was pretty cool. Um, he got in because people are trying to get it to be a partner all the time and share their stuff and, and you know get to choose what their thumbnails are going to be when they upload videos. And uh, he was able to get in with 800 subscribers. Uh, which is unheard nice. of, man. That's I got huge. in at 650 subscribers. Right now, uh, RC Bits uh, has 400,000 uh, video views, and that's where I was. You got to have a lot of uh, views. Yeah. One of the questions I know that gets relate uh, or, or related or directly pushed at me is, how do I become sponsored? Medic, mm. are you sponsored? Yeah. Do you pay Actually, for your rigs? Uh, this is one of those hot topics that people are always mm -hmm. approaching. Um, I can say, with with no prepping, I can say yeah. that how much money, just as a ballpark, just give me an expression, yeah. how much money do I spend on RC? <laughs> Actually, I don't really know. Okay, I don't really try not to tell her how much money I spend it's on a, RC. Yeah, it's, it's in a shopping bag. But at the same... <laughs> receipts. <laughs> a shopping bag of receipts. That's basically what it is. Um, but I can tell you that, yes, I have had trucks uh, sent to me uh, yes. after I worked my butt off and had a lot of views and uh, actually reached out to the companies, told them who I was, what I do. Uh, I've actually never been paid to do a specific uh, series or anything like that directly from a manufacturer. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. like that. I've done... Um, because I, I, I like to work with specific trucks, yeah. I always pick out the truck I want to work with and then I approach the company and say, listen, I'd like to work with something. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be a cool idea as a video producer. Yeah. This is what I've done in the past. I have a team uh, and we've got lots of really cool equipment. Can we, can we have a product to look at like that? We do actually have some really cool equipment. Do you want to show them the studio right now? I think uh... is that it? that's one of the questions. Can we yeah. see what kind of cameras Please. you use? Come see it folks. It's uh, it's oh. magnanimous. This is easy. No, we'll just show off uh, just some of the small because it really it started off uh, as a uh, remember that little Canon Sure Shot <laughs> like this the little big, tiny cameras like no still one pictures thick. yeah, yeah. There's, they still make them the, yeah. the Canon Sure Shot one thousand I think the SD one thousand mm -hmm. took a like a, a twenty six May or <laughs> you know like the super small memory yeah. stick could film like uh, like twenty six megs. Yeah, I could film like two-minute videos in just regular definition, you know, standard That's definition. That's where I first wiped out filming, actually. 
That was your first fall. That's you were filming uh, my totally MGT was. film. My uh, very videos. first uh, wipeout. <laughs> So camera, that... camera equipment for sure. I could have gone on there really easy <clears throat> about the Canon to begin with, but I also know uh, that my very, I remember one day mm. I turned to you and said, honey, I know someone is uh, selling a camera. Yeah. It was my first camcorder. Oh, right, right, right. I do remember that. It was the first HD camera that had come out in a camcorder from Sony. Yeah. Uh, and it took little 22 minute discs that would burn. Oh, Do you remember I totally those discs? Remember that. Yes, they I were all like 50 yes, of these discs strewn around the, yeah. the one bedroom apartment we had in back the in the day yeah, in the loft. Awesome. Yeah, uh, in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I was one of the very first people to actually post up an HD video of RCs. Right, I do remember that. Yep. <gasps> yeah, Jeez. first build video series, I think. I couldn't find anything else like was that. Was that with the clear body? Uh, that was the uh, giant crawler we did after. That was a different project. The X crawler that's not that's available, crazy. I don't that's think. so wild. Anyway, let me yep. show them this stuff. I'll turn on uh, my, my, my older Sony camera yeah. here. Uh, basically, the replacement for that first one, wasn't it? This, uh, what was this the replacement? I think it cost me about twelve hundred bucks uh, at the time. This one here. I apologize. That's the third one we've had. That this is the third the, one yeah. we've had. We didn't we just the fourth one right now. Yeah, we just didn't hit it up like that. Um, I can say that uh, this one, even though it was so expensive, it was way overpriced. I shouldn't have paid that Honestly, much money. Honestly, we've had a great time with that camera, though. It has. And it's we've got we've used the hell out of it. 250 gigs uh, hard drive in there, which is way too much. We don't need that much space. For you guys out there, like 20 gigs is yeah. plenty for an RC video. But a great camera to handle and, and use, so. Yeah, like I've always made sure to have a good zoom on what yeah. I'm doing, right? And the shake shot is always a fantastic. The anti-shake to a good RC video yeah. eh, you don't want to be like the human shake right especially because i gotta tell you guys when i do film yeah i'm in some really good yoga positions and you you can't shake okay for all the ladies that are still watching right they are still watching positions. i know they're still watching i'm here yes <laughs> okay so <laughs> okay sony camera uh, handy cam, you know how this goes. I'm actually filming on a uh, newer camera I got mm -hmm. in the studio uh, right now that's a bit more advanced. It is. Yeah. I used to do onboard shots. Check this out. This is the Tachyon XC HD camera forward facing. This was uh, at 720p. Uh, took uh, memory cards. The quality is okay. You've seen yeah. me use it. Now we picked up a GoPro. Hey, because we can't really awesome. go forward without the GoPro. GoPro. It's absolutely spectacular. This is the Hero 2 uh, at the time of this filming. Uh, and uh, a spectacular machine. Great onboard footage. Uh, I got to figure out the vibration thing, though. I, I notice a lot of we all have to figure out the jelly vibration effect thing. when it vibrates too much. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, so behind us we have a whole bunch of uh, studio lights here. I can see with this kind of showing you uh, when I'm in the studio doing my workbench area fixing the RCs. That's important. You got to have a, a good workspace. Honestly, to, uh, I, I work totally agree. RCs, and you've hey? actually made it so it's fantastic and interactive, yep. and it's a great, great workbench. So good job. My uh, RC Spark Studio is located uh, underneath our dining room. Uh, basically, underneath our dining room, you guys. It's been it's a great alcove, though. So it's fantastic. The setup. whole basement has just been basically laid out. Here's a picture of all our RCs in the back. How I'm going to ask you, how many RCs? Give us a number. Just pick a number. How okay. many RCs do we have? Chassis or bodies? All of them. Like, but I, okay. How I'll, many RCs do you think you I'll see? I'll do individual chassis, like chassis type of things. We have bodies. 26. 26. And then we, we it feels like we have about like close to 30 or over 30 bodies. We, uh, we do. We have different bodies. Yeah. Everybody asks us, uh, how, how can you have all of these vehicles, you know, for these videos that we do? And the secret is, is that we have the body wall. Can you show can you grab one or two? Of course, it's playing right behind awesome. us right now. Like, you know. Grabbing off and showing. Yeah, everybody has seen the old uh, beast body. 
Can you, you show know? the body that I love? My uh, I can't do that because it's not accessible at the moment. We're going to unveil it. Don't worry. There's new things coming up. It's a fantastic body, ladies. Everybody want wants that. a. Uh, everybody wants us to do a uh, Land Rover Defender type of video, right? With uh, with one of those. And we've got one. You guys have seen it before. We've, we've shown it before. We're still working mm -hmm. on it. We just need to work on the mount of getting it onto the SCX-10. Not SEX-10. No, that's not what we're talking about. Well, that would be a great marketing video. A lot of people would like to see that video. Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Geez, we're doing good here, actually. Uh, people that are my mentors, I'd like to do it. I would uh, like to say that uh, Dave Powers, RC nice. Super Powers, yeah. is one of the main reasons I got into doing what I was doing. Uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, rcpowers.com or uh, YouTube forward slash... Uh, RC superpowers. Okay. Uh, he's the godfather. Almost at a hundred million views. Uh, he started in the very beginning. Um, also, an inspiration to me was uh, Jeff from Triple yeah. X Main yes, back I, in the day. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, he's had some extreme RC videos that were just off the hook. Another yeah. godfather that has really laid the foundation for us to come in and have fun too. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember last year we went to uh, Medics at TTC, and I remember the question was posed. The TTC 2011. Do you wish you had a winch? Yes, I remember. Why don't so, Why don't you have a winch? I look at the winch, same like the waterproofing. Just do it. You have to have waterproofing have to, or water resisting. Yeah. Nothing's ever waterproof when you have electricity. Think of your RC like a Labrador Retriever. It'll find water. Yeah, a water always goes where always. you don't want it to. Always. Uh, so, uh, do you guys have any extra parts that you can send to us? That's another question I get considerable yeah. uh, amount of numbers from. And, and the answer is, if we sent away all our parts, unfortunately, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do the show. And by the time we're done with our parts, they're pretty beaten and or broken. Just I break not my useful. truck a lot, guys. Like, I beat the hell out of that thing. We break our trucks all the time. I got a good question for yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> do you actually go into the mud or the water to get the greatest shots? Oh, God. You guys, I you remember actually, the mosquito dance. I re <laughs> mosquito right there. The mosquito dance. There's so many mosquitoes out there. You guys, I have to tell you, I I have been in such neat scenarios filming RCs because we need to film in scale, and filming in scale means you have to be in scale. Down low, you know, you got to yeah. be right in the muck. You got to be right there, and we're often just this far apart if from the truck, yeah. you know. Uh, so slip and sliding around in the mud. I have RC muck, clothes. Snow. I actually have some specific uh, filming we clothes. We have I do. RC in clothes. Thicker mm -hmm. stuff, hey, you can get. In yeah. The, you know, so uh, stuff you don't mind getting dirty because you're definitely going to get dirty. Yeah. Uh, what inspires your film style, Jem? So, oh, what? what yeah. Do you mean? Go ahead. What? What? You and I, when we're uh -huh. doing shots, we usually discuss the shots while we're taking Let's them. Let's talk hey? about filming for a minute. Let's talk about filming is what we always make our jokes about. Damn, when we started off, our communication and our relationship while we filmed, I was an ogre, man. I can't believe I... Both I, of us were a little bit of ogres. You know, we couldn't quite quite get what we wanted. We'd yeah. argue a lot. We'd kind of like, kind of butt heads a little bit. Yeah. But it really kind of taught us to, when we're sticking together, words. to use our words. Like, really try to communicate to the one you love. Yeah. Uh, or to your partner, whomever you're with, to say, yeah. hey, listen, you know. I, I literally need you to tell me exactly what you need. And that's what we've worked out, is mm -hmm. I, instead of fuss, fussing around on the shot that I see in my head as a creator, as an artist, a lot of times I've just had to say, okay, this is what I need. And often, yeah. you know, like... Uh, Everyone's creative, but there might be a different sense of creativity. So he's got a very visual creativity where sometimes I have very tactile creativity. So we have to really tactile? manage it. I actually have to see it. I have to see what you're being creative with. Whereas so yours, she yours, gets yours, the vision head. with me as I explain it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any uh, <laughs> training with a camera? <laughs> if you count, or if you count that when I was a child, my father used to say, we're taking a picture, and it would be like a, a most laborious task, but that would be, no. that, that would be it. No. <laughs> the answer is no. I have a, I have a very creative, I come from a very creative family, and we uh, have visions in our own, in our own right. I've got a very musically inclined family, but uh, mine's very visually inclined, or very, uh, just, you know, execution creativity, so it's, uh, She uses a lot of big words I don't understand. <laughs> I went to school. I spent lots of time in We class. have done so many films together, though it may be 400 on the account up here. Way more, guys. We've done way more there than that. There is footage out there that has never been used. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's Practice remarkable. Practice footage. Hey, mm -hmm. we're not... It's just not all gold. We have to 
you know, we had to go yeah. out for years and years and years and just, you know, make as best as we can. Yeah. And today, the Tamiya Toyota Tundra Swamp video uh, crossed 4 million views. You know what that deserves? A high five. A high five, dude. That's you nice. were the one filming in that video. Talk about precarious positioning. When it uh, flipped over. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, you were able to get the whole shot because we had practiced that yeah. shot to see if it would work Over properly. and over yeah. and over again. And we that nailed awesome. it. We mm -hmm. nailed it. That video has inspired tons of hobbyists all it's around the world. It's a fantastic video. I really enjoy that one. In fact, when we, I do remember yeah. not only you saying this is going to be a great video, but actually looking at it thinking, oh, crap, this is going to be an awesome video. It was. And yeah. being one of the first HD videos again yeah. and filming Huge. in scale. Uh, I, a lot of folks don't know, but I actually am the one that loops the music. I do the editing uh, yep. uh, uh, and... and uh, and really the final production yeah. of the videos. I might have the physically demanding job, but you have the very mentally demanding job, which takes a lot longer. <sighs> I'm carrying the RC trucks. We all know I am. Yeah, but I've got to carry the camera. Okay, uh, from RC Engineer. <laughs> RC Engineer, there what do you got? There isn't a bag. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, uh, hey medic, three, three cues. I mean, that, I think that means questions. Okay. Are you married to Jem? We are not married yet. We covered that earlier. Okay. Always wondered, what's Jem's real name? That's totally up to you if you want to say what it is or not. Uh, that's actually Jem with a J. J-E-M, which yeah. stands for Jeanette, Emily, <laughs> and okay. And I know yours is Aaron, and why not try a DeWalt motor in one of your rigs sometime there? A so DeWalt sweet. motor. Take a, uh, DeWalt. Take a screw, uh, 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 a drill away, and uh, see if I can yeah. put that. Because I have so many amazing motors That's already, true. they would just kick a DeWalt butt. He, he does say, say thanks for everything, and you are my mentor. So You know what? Like. That's amazing. I'm glad that you're at the forums there. It's a great community. We're almost at five. I think tonight we're crossing 5,000 members nice. uh, at the forum, and we've only been open for just over a year. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody That's there, right. it's, it's a really unique community. May I ask you another one? Uh, yeah. We kind of already uh, addressed how, uh, wondering how RC Sparks got started by Dave W322. Mm -hmm. But he has another one. Um, also curious, is this your full time job? So I just kind of want to touch on that one. So we need just to make sure this is your full time job. Oh, yeah, this is my full time job. Is this all job. you do? Uh, all I do, uh, basically for those that actually want to know, and they've actually made it this far in the video mm -hmm. to find out what's going on, is uh, in the morning our alarm goes off at about 6 o'clock or earlier. 5.30 in 5 .30. the winter. Uh, first thing I do is bring Jem a coffee because we pre-make our coffee at night with and the timer. And he brings me a coffee. Bring her a coffee in bed. Because uh, I hate mornings. They're silly. And uh, I head downstairs to yeah. the computer and I start reading as much fan mail as I can. Or viewer mail. I hate yeah. saying fan mail. It's viewer mail. And I procrastinate on getting ready for work. And uh, from that point forward, I make sure to check Facebook mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And I basically work through right until you get home at yep. night from your job where you're working about 12 hours a day as mm -hmm. well. So I put in uh, about 12 hours a day every day. Yeah. Uh, how many days? More, how many days? Sometimes much more. Yeah, because... sometimes, guys, when he when I do get home, he mm -hmm. uh, says, hey, you know, high five. We have a nice dinner together. Yeah. And then he comes back downstairs to work and I chill out. I've never done website development before. And thank goodness I've got a, a, a friend, oh, a huge, couple of friends in huge. the industry that are, are technically adept at making uh, websites. And uh, I have learned how to uh, to build and anything that I've actually wanted yeah. to learn, just like in RC, you're always working your brain, right? You're always keeping things on par mm -hmm. and, and making sure you can move forward with stuff that makes you happy. That's yeah. really the important thing for me is is being happy, right? Agreed, and that should be the important thing for everyone. Mm -hmm. well, I guess so. Hey, that's yeah. why we even do RC. I highly okay, suggest so. it to all... Uh, all friends. Should we wrap this up? I guess this has been a long Dude, I've show. I've only been on one page. Of one page. Here, let me see. I gotta see that because I know that there's some in here. I should okay? do that this one. Yeah. I know that uh, Trakar had come and asked me, my buddy from Edmonton, King of the TTC yes, he is. Uh, of ours. And he has a lovely wife. Yeah, actually, yeah. Am I pink is say better. Real name? Pink is better yeah, on is better. Uh, on the RC Sparks forum. His question was: okay. He has uh, RC stuff strewn about. He stepped on a piece of RC the other day, and his question to me was: What is your worst RC scar? Oh, scar. What is your scar? I can say I would say it would yeah, be Mexico. my Mexico trip. This yeah. trip here, which was 
epic and awesome. It was our very first trip to Mexico. First trip to Mexico, and I was holding our first, second camera. It was our second yeah. camera. Yeah, um, and uh, we had a little uh, kerfuffle with the coral rocks, and it was so bad, guys. The I was wearing sandals. I slipped on the coral. I gouged out a big hole in no my blood. leg. There was no blood. There was no blood. It was so deep, there was no blood. It was almost right to the bone, right on my shin yeah, bone. Yeah, I saw and I slipped, and I, oh my god, I didn't drop the camera. Don't sacrifice the camera because we're like at the ocean. It's like a beer. You treat the camera uh, like a beer. You know? Because that was like our first or second day there, and I yeah. slipped on the coral. Holy smokes, and I just looked up. You know what it's like. Every one of you out there. I pack a first aid kit when we go on holidays. Cutting your Lexan bodies, doing something with the screwdriver, pushing towards your hand. You slip, you cut yourself, you just kind of curse, you wince, and you try Dang to move it. on. You be an RC addict, and you keep on uh, That's the whole point of being an RC lover. Keeping you, on, you do right? it, if it even if it hurts. Well, I got to tell you, there are so many we could keep going for about an hour, but, you know, what can I say? Oh, yeah, we're doing, we've almost been talking for an hour anyway. I can yammer on forever. I could keep, shall we do a few more? Let's do a few There's more. There's so many people out here, like uh, my buddy Greeny, uh, what a funny name, eh? Greeny from Australia. Uh, he's out there. Uh, he says to me, okay, he's got two questions. How much time... Does it take to edit each video? It really depends. I gotta tell you guys, it's been evolving. It uh, your first uh, stint was long. Oh, I'd, up, I'd work on my first videos. By the way, people ask me my editing and software usage. In the beginning, on my PC, I used to use Cyberlink so, Ultra Power yeah. Director. I think it was nine. Uh, and then finally, you know, people use Sony Vegas. That's something you guys can check out. It's a little bit more advanced. I actually use an iMac right now, a 27 inch, and I use Final Cut X, uh, even though there's lots of different things, uh, expansion packs yeah. and stuff. Uh, for us to do a film, I can maybe, if it's good, I can do it in a day. Yes. Sometimes it's multiple days that it's it takes. It's a lot of thought me. that goes into these films. We got a build. Go out to the location, yeah. actually film, have Pick the music, the, have a plot line, yeah. come back, do pre-conversion uh, with all the files because they're MT2S files uh, from the camera. All that, convert them into an MP4 file, yeah. uh, move forward into that, do all of the editing, lay music to it. Yeah. One of the questions people have is how do I get music into my videos that's oh, copyrighted? Gosh. Yeah. You know, this is Tricky a big one, one hey? Uh, I can say that... Uh, We've been pseudo-fortunate in the sense that you've already had a lot of your music. I made a lot of my own music in the yeah. beginning because of my DJ career back in the day of being yeah. uh, in music production and techno and trance and different things like that. Hence the name DJ Medic. That was another question. You give artists their credit, right? So you got to be... Uh, well, uh, there's rules, though. Yeah. There's rules you don't know on YouTube, right? You can't just use anybody's music unless you mm -hmm. have written permission or it's under an open uh, right. content sharing copyright law, right? Where it's a Creative Commons license. So uh, over the years, I've actually been pr uh, making part Partnerships with record producers, mm. yep. uh, record companies. For example, Kick It Recordings. Awesome. Uh, dot com, mm. Sneaker in the Dryer, one of my all-time favorite yeah. bass DJs. He helped me out with uh, a, a lot, lot of the music yeah. uh, that we've done. You know. Um, Thank you. Oh man, big thumbs up. Uh, Kevin McLeod, uh, he's out there. There's lots of producers on YouTube and on the internet that if you're able to connect with them, tell mm -hmm. them who you are and what you do. As long as you give them credit in the video yeah. and you have written permission, you're able to get in with YouTube and even monetize it as long as yeah. they give you permission to use it on a commercial level, right? So that's super important. I can't believe I almost stopped the show without that. I'm glad we I kept know. going. Yeah, that agreed. agreed. Um, that's an important one. Uh, Greeny, thanks, buddy, because that actually led into that whole thing thing right there yeah. uh i can say um also questions being asked even though you had two questions i gotta move on buddy i'm sorry uh how big are my video files usually in size when i upload depends. uh it really depends on the minutes i usually upload in 1080p hd yeah. anyway uh and uh the size is about mm, between two gigs uh for about a 12 minute video uh, plus, right? Maybe, maybe three gigs for an 18 minute video in that area. 
So there you go. So that gives Excellent. a couple of technical questions out of the way that people have had. Uh, you know, I know so many people are watching this and are, are happy that we're doing this. Agreed. I'm happy we're doing this too, actually. You know, I, we've never done this. This is a little bit, the oh, ad lib I'm is sure different. Me. You know, m more people will maybe want us to do this uh, because there's so many questions. Well, that we've and, had. and, you know, let's just have fun. You know, hang yeah. out. Yeah, well, you know, so you just hey, how come you don't have a YouTube channel? People, people want you really? to have a YouTube channel. Me? You know, uh, you know. Why don't I have a YouTube channel? I don't know. Because <sighs> you don't have the time. I don't have the time, guys. Seriously, between filming and between my regular job, it's, it's my uh, job. I've got a family, and uh, there's only 168 hours in a week. There's only so much time in the week. Hey, that's right. So you know, I live vicariously through Medic's channel, and uh, hopefully, you guys, you guys. We all know she's there. the star of the show, anyway. You know. <laughs> You know, no. that's the way it goes. Thank and you. That's a very kind call it, it, You know what? It's been a pleasure uh, doing the 400 videos it's with you. We met Ted from Ted's Garage. Awesome. Thank you, Ted. You've King of Air at Skate Park Awesome. Pain. Thanks, guys. And Rude Joel. Boys. Rude Boys. Yeah, Crazy yeah. Joe. There's been so he many people. Uh, and I have to thank all the manufacturers out there that I've worked with in the yeah. past. Tons of them. Max Amps, mm -hmm. Axial, uh, Proline Racing I've done work with. Yeah. Uh, there's so many great opportunities for sure. Oh, there's been a ton of great opportunities yeah. out there. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, geez, even Tekin, like we've we've just had a whole long list. Uh, you of look folks around here and you're like, yeah, check, that, check, that check, they check. help me and yeah. Jem make the show possible for you guys. It's super fun, guys. And, Thanks uh, for you know what? I think there's 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 one more thing we should do. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna give you one of these. Hold that. Oh. oh. Can I have three? Ah. <laughs> You know, 400 videos is a lot of work. I'm totally going to hit her in the eye. That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> you know, and I got to say, uh, after all the stuff we've done together, yes. uh, you make me very happy. May I have a kiss, please? Thank you from uh, all Super of fun. the RC Adventure viewers out there. I know that uh, they all appreciate what we do. They tell us all the time. We get fan mail from around the world saying that we've changed awesome. people's keep, lives. Keep it coming, guys. We you love know? reading it. I, I read it as well, so thank you. You know, mm -hmm. and I always pass on the messages to Jen when you leave it to her. Yeah, we have a good time, and you I'm know. a little witty on my own end, so it's Shall a good we time. do it? Watch, oh, I'm going to totally break something. <laughs> Woo! That scared me. Damn. Here you go, dear. <laughs> thank you. So what are we going to do for 500? I don't know what we're going to do for 500, you know? I'm, I'm excited for 500. I think it'll be appropriate to look back at 500 videos. That's huge. And 400 you know, is, is, is huge as well. Uh, 400 is huge. Uh, special thanks to uh, the, the RC video producers out there. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate RC, RC Nightmare. We've got Squirrel Odd. We've, We've got Triple X Main. Uh, RC Superpowers. Everybody out there yeah. that's doing their job to make the RC hobby just that much better. We salute you. Bill, so RC you. News TV, hey? Everybody out everyone. there. Thank you very much. Awesome. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, we'll see you in another 100 videos. Cheers. Cheers.